how to set up PayPal business account, how to create PayPal business account. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about PayPal and how you can go ahead and create and set up your business account in the easiest and most simplest way possible. Now, as we all know, PayPal is one of the most used and upcoming payment providers out there. And you can use these payment providers for yourself in the easiest and most simplest ways. Now, what you're going to be doing to set yourself up with your PayPal is basically, first of all, you're going to come over to paypal.com slash pk slash home. And over here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and sign up with your account. Now, once you go to sign up, the best part about signing up with PayPal is that the sign up is totally free. Now, right here, it's going to give you two options, uh, personal and business. Now, in the personal plan, you can see you can send, spend and manage your money all from one app. Shop online without sharing your payment info, access exclusive rewards and cashback, manage money, discover crypto, and more. Then there's the business plan where you can send, spend, and manage all your money. Accept more forms of payment so you don't have to miss a sale. Easily integrate with the tools you use to run your business and sell securely with a brand customer's trust. Okay, so obviously this is the one we're going to want to go with because business plan is what we're looking for. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on get started. Now, once you do that, it's going to bring you up to setting your business account. So we're simply going to wait for that option to load in. Shouldn't take you a lot of time. So once it is done and good to go here, it says, let's create your account. Whether you're a business, nonprofit or a casual seller, you are in the right place. OK, so it's going to ask you for your first last name and it's going to ask you for your email address. Now, for this video's case, I'm going to be going and using a temp mail. Now, you don't necessarily have to go through with this step because a temp mail usually disappears after 24 hours. But, you know, if you want to go for it, you can. But just keep this in mind that this email will be deleted after 24 hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our email address and we're going to go ahead and add our password. Now, once we add our password, we're going to click on agree and create account. And what that will do is it will set up with our PayPal activation. So it says activate your account to start using PayPal. So obviously you're going to have to verify things and, you know, activate things up for yourself. But I'm going to skip that for now. And we're going to go into our PayPal dashboard because that is how easy and simple it is to set up your business PayPal. Now, once your PayPal dashboard loads up, what happens over here is that you're going to be given the option to pretty much go ahead and get the general analysis of what's going on. So it's a commerce platform. You're going to find tools that help you grow and succeed. You can complete your profile as you want, link a bank, etc. And we're going to be going through all of this, including verifying and activating our PayPal. So this is the insights. This is how much money you have received. And this is how much money you have withdrawn or spent. OK, so this is basically how you're going to manage things. So first of all, you have the quick link section with business tools, invoicing, request money, send money, PayPal checkout, pay links and buttons, etc. And what you can do is you can send invoices by their uh, customers emails, create a quick donate link. You can sell on social, etc. And obviously to activate things up, you're going to want to complete your profile. So that is exactly what we're going to do over here. Now, once you're over here, you're going to click on next it says before we start, which describes you best individual company or nonprofit. So for myself, I'm going to go with individual LLC. So I'm going to go ahead on next. Once we do that, we have our name. Now you're going to have to add your date of birth. OK, so once you have added your date of birth, what's going to happen from here is you're going to add the year. There we go. Now, once you've done that, it's going to ask your home address, which you're obviously going to add. Once you have added all those things, it's going to ask you for your ID number. OK, so whatever your ID number is, make sure to add it in this section, which is basically your social security number. All right. So once you've added the correct SSN and added the correct details, what's going to happen from there is, you know, it's just going to take a few days to activate your account. It shouldn't take too long. PayPal usually tends to take one or two days and your account should be verified. Now, once that is done from here, your transfers are easy as butter. You can go ahead, 
link banks for yourself. So let's say I'm going to come here and click on link a bank. Now, once we click on link a bank, it's going to take us to the PayPal wallet where it's going to give us all of these different banks in our region. OK, so you can choose these banks. But if your bank is not available in the section, what you can do is you can search for other banks that you have. All right. So once you click on search for other banks, it should give you the option to you know, go ahead and see all the other banks you have, or you can just choose any one of these banks, agree and continue and link everything up. So that basically allows you to easily withdraw your payments from your PayPal to your banks in the easiest and most simplest way. And what you're going to want to do from there is, you know, simply start creating invoices, request money, send money, you know, create checkouts for your PayPal and a whole lot more. And the best part about PayPal business is that it actually gives you a lot of efficient business tools out there to take payments without a website. Okay. You can start accepting payments today with all of the tools that it brings you like PayPal checkout invoicing. You have recommendations for Zettle, which is accepting payments in person. You can request money, which is secure, easy and simple. You can also create QR code checkouts where you create a QR code, a person scans it, and they're going to be taken to the checkout where they're supposed to give the exact amount of money you desire from them. Then you can share listings on socials, donate by reaching your fundraising goals. You can add recurring payments, which is basically a and again and again payment. There's either one off payments or recurring payments. So you could say giving rent is a recurring payment. So that is how you're going to work along with it. Then moving on, you can also go into different uh, options like pay and get paid, finance, sales and a whole lot more. Now, to sum all of this up, if we go to pay and get paid here, you can see you have the option of creating an invoice. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so to create an invoice, you're going to come over to PayPal.com slash invoice slash create here. You're going to add in your profile. So who are you billing? You're going to give them a customer name or email. OK, so let's say I'm just going to add a name and we're going to give them an email over here. Now, once we've done that, we're going to click on add. Now that has become a recipient for us and this will be saved in your contacts in PayPal. So you don't have to again and again add the same user over and over again. You can simply do it like this. Now, once this is done, it says, what are they paying for? You're you know, going to create an item. So let's say you're selling a hoodie and they're paying for the hoodie price per unit. Let's say fifty four dollars. This is the money you desire for them. And once you do add, uh, it's going to give you the tax exclusive prices. And you can add payment terms, which is basically partial payment and a whole lot more. You can add notes to your customers. And this is basically your invoice generated. You can have this invoice printed. You can have it downloaded. And simply once it is done and good to go, click on send. And there we go. Basically, that is how PayPal business works. OK, it's a whole business mindset in which you create an enterprise and use this to not only receive money, but to send it out to other business enterprises as well by sending them receipts of your invoices. So yeah, that is all there is when it comes to PayPal and how you're going to be using the business side of it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great and amazing day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.